it's Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement, and I'm going to do a book review on Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly. Um, this is the first in a trilogy of books. I don't know about... I don't know what the third one was, is called, but I know the second one is Angel Fire after this. So I'm just going to read the summary. It says... They're out for your soul, and they don't have heaven in mind. Willow knows she's different from other girls, and not just because she loves tinkering with cars. Willow has a gift. She can look into the future and know people's dreams and hopes, their sorrows and regrets, just by touching them. She has no idea where this power comes from, but the assassin Alex does. Gorgeous, mysterious, Alex knows more about Willow than Willow herself does. He knows that her power is linked to dark and dangerous forces, and that he's one of the few humans left who can fight them. When Alex finds himself falling in love with his sworn enemy, he discovers that nothing is as it seems, least of all good and evil. In the first book in, the, in an action-packed romantic trilogy, L.A. Weatherly sends readers on a thrill ride of a road trip and depicts the human race at the brink of a future as ca catastrophic as it is deceptively beautiful. I gave this book a five! I loved it. It was so awesome honestly um i loved i love the concept really the angels as as evil like they feed off of um life forces kind of i think that's what they take but they're so they trick you because when they come to the humans and they go Oh, let me give you this gift. Like they're like they're a benevolent angel, but they're really killing you and harming you. I just thought that that was the coolest, coolest little little concept, little idea. It's awesome. Um, I really liked I liked the characters of Willow. One, I think that's a cool name. I love that name, and I liked Alex, and I liked them together. Um. I liked Willow because she wasn't, like, of course she was pretty. They always have to be pretty. But, um, she wasn't a girly girl. Like, she worked on cars. How many girls do that? Like, she can change a carburetor, and she knows what a drive shaft is, and, like, stuff like that. So that was cool. I liked that. And that she was, like, had the gift. You know, she was psychic. She could feel things. Um, and I liked Alex. Like, the very first, the prologue, starts off with just him. It's just him. And it details his role as an assassin, uh, an angel killer. And I thought that was just so neat. He is definitely tough. Um, definitely can kill some angels, but then he's also... He's also a human being, you know, and he needs some, he needs somebody there to, to make him not feel so alone in the world. So I really liked the Willow-Alex mashup, and I liked how their relationship kind of grew throughout the book. Like, they ended up hating each other, but then by the end, Although the end, although they were a little mushy and a little a little less sometimes, by the end they like they're a really little cute little couple. And one one other aspect that I just thought was cool about this book is um the Church of the Angels that how it's like so cultish and and weird, but then it has all these devoted fanatic followers that are just kind of scary. And, I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. Um, like the summary said, there is a road trip in the book between Willow and Alex. And it's fun, and it's what you want a road trip. Well, they're running for their lives, but, I mean, it's a cool little road trip kind of thing. Um, it was just, it was just such a cool book. And I love the, um, these little chapter headings. I think those are cool. I know you probably can't see it too well because of the glare, but the cover is just awesome. The side is awesome. Um, the only part that I didn't really like is there's like this section. 
Where is it? It's like right around in here somewhere. Maybe more. Maybe like this much. Where they go into a cabin in the woods. And that was just a little... That section got a little boring. Um, I would have liked them to leave the cabin sooner. Because when they get to the cabin, the action kind of stops. But when they leave the cabin, the action starts up again. So, I really like this book. As I said, I gave it a 5. Um, I highly recommend it. It's fun. It's a different take on angels than you'll probably ever see. Evil angels? Who knew? Um, it's just, it's a really good book. I really liked it, and I, I plan on reading the second one. Although I've heard that the second one is a little bit of a disappointment from the first one, but still, I'm willing to give it a go. So yeah, that's my book review of Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly. Go check it out. It's pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later, um, hopefully in a different shirt. Yeah. See ya.